In this video we're going to look at a more complicated scenario where we've got a function 2x cubed plus 3x minus 2. We're going to divide it by x minus 1. Now, there is a problem you have to deal with first. When you're dealing with a cubic, a cubic in general has four terms. It has a cubic term, a squared term, a linear term and a constant term. But this function doesn't have the quadratic term. So effectively you have 0x squared and you must include that 0x squared inside the division. If you don't, then things will go wrong. The reason being is that the columns will not match up and then you will get confused and in all likelihood you'll get a wrong answer at the end. So fill in any gaps with zero, some, zero times the um, power of x that you need. And then you can perform the division as usual. x is into 2x cubed, go 2x squared, sorry. 2x squared times these two terms, 2x cubed, take away 2x squared, draw a line, perform a subtraction, 0x squared, take away 2x squared is plus 2x squared, bring the 3x down, x is into 2x squared, go 2x, 2x times these two terms, or 2x squared, take away 2x, perform a subtraction, 2x squared, take away 2x squared is 0, 3x, take away 2x, take away minus 2x, sorry, is plus 5x, bring the take minus 2 down, x is into 5x, go 5, 5 lots of x minus 1 is 5x, minus 5, so we get 0, minus 2, take away minus 5, is 3. So that means that f of x can be written as x minus 1, 2x squared, plus 2x, plus 5, plus the remainder 3. Okay? So, really, the only difficulty and the only thing that is going to catch you out, if you allow it to, is putting in 0x squared there. 